Good morning, 4K friends. It's Mrs. Saplina. Let's start our date with a fist bump. Excellent. And a peek at our schedule. We are going to start with our morning meeting. Update our calendar. I have a math activity for us today. We're going to do some word work. And I'm going to end the day with a poem. Read aloud. All right, let's turn back this way. And sing our good morning song. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. I'm so glad you're here. All right, friends, so important for you to focus your attention right now on calendar. So what we do at school in order to make that happen is we sing our group time job song. Do you guys see the cards up here above me? Ready? Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time, at group time. <clears throat> Excellent. Mm, a little dehydrated this morning. Mrs. Herring and I went on a long Mother's Day walk yesterday. We walked 11 miles. And I'm a little sore this morning and a little dehydrated. So I gotta drink lots of water today. I hope you had a great day with your moms and I hope everybody finished their project that was in the manila envelope for their mom. Um, and I hope you were able to enjoy the three day weekend. Wasn't so nice on Mother's Day, but the other two days, other than being cold, weren't so bad, I guess. Um, so speaking of our three-day weekend, we need to update our calendar. Who can remind me what kind of pattern we have this month? Here's a clue right up on top. If you said an A, B, C pattern, you are correct. Uh, we started the month with a duck, then a sailboat, then a turtle, and then our pattern started again. Duck, sailboat, turtle, duck, sailboat, so I'm wondering what sort of pattern piece I need for Saturday. We need to catch up a few days since we were at home for three days. Let's take a look. What comes after the sailboat each time? If you said a turtle, you are correct. So I'm going to tuck in a turtle on Saturday. I'm going to start my pattern over on Sunday with a little yellow duck. So what pattern piece would I need today, friends? If you said a sailboat, you are correct. I'm gonna tuck a sailboat in. Oh, my bad, that was yesterday because there was no school. So I need to know what pattern piece we need for today. Now that we have our three stay at home days caught up, we need today's pattern piece. And you can see we're reviewing a letter today. I hope you all know that's the letter G. It says G. That will be our letter for review today. And we need a turtle for today. So I'm gonna tuck the turtle right on top. Slide my finger up to the tippity top. Who can tell me what day of the week it is today? If you said Tuesday, you are correct. Sing with me. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Excellent. All right, friends. We need to take a look at our friend William's birthday right over here. Let's count how many days until we celebrate William. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve days until William's birthday. Very exciting. 
William's birthday falls on a four-day weekend. So we've got a few short weeks here of school. We have a four-day week this week. We have a four-day week next week. And we have a four-day week the week of William's birthday. So since his birthday is on a stay-at-home day, we're going to celebrate his birthday on this day, on the 26th. So he's already picked out his birthday book for me to read. And um, I will make sure to get his card and crown in the mail here so that he's got it before the weekend. All right, excellent. Let's take a look today at our pattern. So on Friday, we practiced patterning with objects. Um, you could either find three different objects at home or make three different objects that you could pattern a few times. I think I said something you that could repeat six different times. Um, I practiced on the pocket chart with rectangles of paper um, that were different colors. I think I used blue, green, and yellow. And then I started again with blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow. Today in the lesson plan, the challenge is to make a pattern with your body by doing a movement. So for example, my pattern, let's see if you can guess what it is. Head, shoulders, clap. Head, shoulders, clap. A, B, C. A, B, C. Let's see if you can come up with your own pattern. Give mine a try, but then create one of your own with your grown up. All right, so our review letter today is G. Uh, G is for game. There is a game board attached to the lesson plan, but you don't need to print that one. You can play any game at home today. Um, I would suggest you play duck, duck, goose, because goose starts with the letter G. So if you don't already know how to play duck, duck, goose, or maybe you haven't played it in a while, gather your family and give duck, duck, goose a try. All right, so you can take down the letter G today, and then in your letter sound book, you're going to turn and find the letter G. And there's lots of good things inside the letter G. There's a goat and a gate. Definitely, they both start with the letter G. Um, go ahead with your grown-up, have them read you the words, and I want you to circle or color the ones that start with the letter G, the ones that start with the G sound. Remember, G makes two sounds. We really only talk about the G sound that it makes, but do you guys remember when we watched the Sesame Street podcast with G, G, Grover? Yeah, G also sometimes says J, like giraffe. So if you're a little confused by that today, have your grown-ups look up the Sesame Street podcast for the letter G, and you will see that G sometimes makes two different sounds. All right. Also, in your highlight a letter book, I finally went to school and picked mine up. I had an extra. So you should be working in that book on the same letter that we're reviewing each day. So hopefully you're up to the G page. And I did not realize that it was a double-sided book. So there are two pages for each letter. So the first page will look like this. You have big G and little g. Now you're looking in all of these fonts for the letters that are also G. And you can color in that square or you can circle. So does this look like the letter G? Yep, so you would circle or color that one. What about this one? Not a G. Don't color it, don't circle it. How about this one? Definitely G. Go ahead and color in the square or just go ahead and circle that G. How about here? Does this look like little G? 
Sure does. Color or circle it. How about this one? Not a G. G. Ooh, they're trying to trick us. Not a G? No, that's J. Tricky. Is that a G? Nope. G? Nope. G? Yeah, it's a bubble letter. I know some of my girlfriends in class like to write bubble letters. You girls know who you are. Very fancy. Circle or color it. How about this one? Nope, not a G. Yep, looks like G. Yep, looks like G. Oh, that's my letter. Start Saplina, but that's not a G. How about this one? Another fancy bubble letter. And yes, that's a G. Go ahead and circle or color it. And then you're going to turn the page. And there's a little room to practice G. So you're going to trace G and then write G down below. Trace lowercase g, write lowercase g down below. And then again in this chart, you're going to color or circle all of the g's. Okay, great job. So when your work is done in your books and you've taken down g, try to play a game at home today. And I recommend Duck, Duck, Goose. All right, so today we have a poster poem, <clears throat> um, and it is along with our water theme for this month, and it's sung to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So it goes like this. Down, down, down below in our submarine, looking through the periscope, so much can be seen. Up, up. Up above in our little boat, wind and waves go rolling by, keeping us afloat. Do you guys know what a periscope is? That's a tricky grown-up word, isn't it? It's this long tube with the telescope at the top. That is a periscope. All right, boys and girls, have a fantastic Terrific Tuesday, and I will see you all back here on Wednesday. Don't forget, we have our Zoom on Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., our usual time. And Mrs. Sabrina will try to remember to record our Zoom meeting so that I can send it to the friends who aren't able to join. I've been a little forgetful with that. Um, the meeting gets started and I get very excited to see all my friends and I forget to hit record. So um, I will try to do that. Maybe some of my friends who like to remind me of things could give me a little reminder on Wednesday morning. You guys know who you are. Um, I won't name any names because the list is long, but my friends like to give me reminders. So please, somebody remember to remind me to record our meeting. Um, yeah, so have a great day. Terrific Tuesday.